lot with a day in the life of an HVAC tech. Um, out here at a customer's house, he's getting ready to sell, and uh, the inspection report cited that a new secondary drain was needed. Uh, but as you can see, here is a drain coming out of the attic into the soffit, which is coming off the drain pan. And I'll show you where that drain is and that it is coming off of the unit. Now, there is, um, you know, much discussion about whether a secondary drain is needed um, if you have a float switch. Now, there is no drain needed for a crawl space or a, a secondary drain um, or drain pan for that matter. But uh, there is right there, you can see a little stub coming out the soffit. That is the secondary drain or the drain pan drain. So I'm going to check and just verify with the inspection report and to see what the inspector said regarding the second okay drain. so here is the drain coming out of the soffit we're seeing on the first video or the first section of the uh the video um this is going out into the soffit this drain line is coming off the drain pan okay so that's your secondary drain or your drain pan drain it's got a float switch in the drain pan and then on the evaporating coil you have two drains you've got one that is tied into the primary drain and it's hard to tell on the video but it is the one that is lower than the other one it's the one on the left the one on the left is the primary the second one is the secondary and you can see someone put an aqua guard sticker on the evaporating coil and so these drains come over here and are tied in together, running into a uh, this three quarter, and then it's running into a one inch. And so the one inch is running out into. Let me verify. It may or may not be hard to see, but here is the drain line. It is running down underneath the insulation and it is running down into this little section here and then going down. It's taking a right turn and going down. So I'm not sure exactly where it's exiting out, but we do have sufficient drains um, for this house. Uh, there's really no other drain to add. I'm not sure what the home inspector was talking about, um, waiting for the realtor to check out the inspection report, but we've got sufficient drains, and as I mentioned, we've got a float switch in the drain pan. What that does is if the pan fills up, the float will close, or excuse me, will open, uh, and it will shut the unit off. Primary, secondary, and then pan drain. So, not sure what the inspector's talking about. We'll look at the inspection report. Is the secondary drain um, where those two drains are coming together uh, from the uh, off the evaporating coil and joining to a one inch pipe. Here it is right here on the back of the house. So we've got sufficient drains. We know where the drain exits out on the back of the house. Um, so everything is in accordance with the codes. Um, and I don't see any need for a, another drain as there are adequate drains already uh, coming off of the unit. So this is Scott with a day in the life of an HVAC tech uh, looking at a drain issue that was mentioned uh, or cited by the home inspector um, and he mentioned that it was needed according to the home inspector uh, home inspection report um, uh, he mentioned that there was no secondary drain or secondary drain was needed 
but the photo that was attached to that was uh, from the crawl space perspective. So he actually didn't have pictures to cite uh, or back up his um, uh, code violation for the secondary drains. So from the HVAC technician's perspective, uh, the system has adequate drains. This is Scott with a day in the life of an HVAC tech and we'll share another video with you later. Have a great day.